I can't believe, and I, it doesn't sit with me well to think that there's no cure for cancer because with the, with the, the intelligent people we have in this world, all those people, all those scientists linked together, you telling me there's not no cure for cancer, I'm telling you something, yeah, I feel like it's a conspiracy. I think there is a cure for cancer, but they choose to hold it because of the amount of money that they make by, by through charity. Hi guys, my name is of course Damo and this week you've seen floating around on YouTube Stand Up To Cancer and what I'm doing with this upload today is I'm combining some comments from one of my friends on YouTube, Junior Joy with some of my own feelings about cancer and how I feel and what I wanted to do today was film in a slightly more quieter location than my flat and try to give a different type of effect to the video because most of us know what it's like to lose somebody who's got cancer or have had somebody, friends of the family or a friend that has witnessed somebody battling cancer. Um, and it's not, uh, uh, it's not something that is the easiest thing to talk about. And I think that so many times the after effects of cancer and what it does to the people and the families and, and those that are left behind are shockingly real. Many of you may or may not know that six years ago I lost my mum to cancer. Uh, she was diagnosed with both lung and liver cancer and passed away at 69 years of age. And six years on, it's still something that is very difficult to deal with. It's still very emotional. You go to the cemetery or the crematorium and you lay flowers and you still remember that person. But having memories of that person is never the same as actually having them there in your life. You know, you can't, you can't speak to them on a daily basis or phone them up or go out for meals with them because that person is no longer here. The only, the only memories you've got of them is what you can remember mentally or photographically or via social media statuses that you may have posted once the person was alive. And this week, the whole idea of Stand Up For Cancer is to sit there and make a difference to try and give people a more of a deeper recognition as to the effects of cancer and how it does affect those people that are left behind. Um, I guess in a way, my situation is a lot different to others because I was a lot more fortunate. I wasn't actually involved in the whole day-to-day -day dealing with the pain, the medication, the, the regular hospital treatments. Um, the first I knew of my mum having cancer was actually when I got the death certificate back from the hospital. And obviously, you know, I was surprised, I was shocked because this was something that I didn't know about. I didn't have a clue what was going on at the time. Um, I knew that mum was ill. Mum had said to me, you know, I'm ill. And she said to me that she had something called fatty liver disease. But obviously it ended up being that this was just something that she said to the family in order to stop us from worrying. Obviously, I wish that we'd had the opportunity to be there to give her moral support and guidance through it and, and, and be there for her. But unfortunately, you know, mum didn't want to put the pressure on us that we had to deal with that. So it was a, it was a completely different situation. But there are many people out there that actually have to go through. There are many people that actually have to go through the pain of watching somebody go from being strong to the cancer, destroying their body and, and losing all control of their bodily functions and going through pain. Um, there was a, a cassette and I'm going back in time a bit now because I know that um, people nowadays don't use cassettes, you know, it's, everything's digital, but mum basically recorded a cassette of her like last four weeks and she she did it a bit like a vocal diary where she was talking about her day to day, how she was feeling. And one thing that really kind of got to me that really got inside my heart was I could hear the pain in her voice. And there was nothing I could do because she'd already passed away. So there was nothing I could do to stop that pain from from being any worse than it was and you kind of get left with a sense that you're completely helpless the way people deteriorate and the way you see them and it's so sad that every single person has been affected by cancer in some way my granddad died of cancer so like it's it's not like a nice thing because everyone is affected you can't help that person. That person's going through probably one of the biggest struggles of their life and there's nothing that you can do to take that pain away. And I'm sure that the pain that she felt is 
million times more to the pain that we feel when we lose somebody, without a question of a doubt. And it kind of brought home a reality and a realisation of what cancer was about because I think when my mum died, I had knowledge of it but didn't actually experience it, so I didn't quite know what it's like to go through it. And then when you actually lose someone, you can relate to it and you can understand it a little bit better. And it's, it is knowing that somebody that you loved, somebody that you cared about, somebody that was your family member had to go through that pain, it does make it very difficult to even to deal with it, so to speak, because you, you, know, you don't want that person to be in pain, you want to help them and, 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 and you're kind of helpless. I think basically we need to work more with this stand up to cancer and raise more money and donate more funding towards finding a cure for cancer because a cure does need to be found to put in place so that we can put an end to all these people feeling the hurt and torture that they've been feeling and we can do this through fundraising we can do events charity events things like that but we need to stand up to cancer and we need to sit there and not give it a place in our lives and we need to prove that we can be strong we can battle this just like the people that have battled cancer and there has been some success stories and hopefully there'll be a lot more in time to come thank you for watching this video as always guys it means a lot it was quite a difficult video to do and hopefully the message that i wanted to portray in today's video has has gone across so thank you if you have liked it give it a thumbs up if you do want to see more content i'm a lot more real life I speak about things that you guys can relate to so yeah if that's you you want some more of that in your youtube give it a subscribe and i'll be back with another upload again soon thank you and stand up to cancer must go in this wardrobe somebody told me that nani is on the other side of it There's no fucking Narnia on the other side of the wardrobe. Maybe. No.